Okay, so if you have a nose, it's probably a good thing if you increase circulation. For example, and I know some of you haven't had dinner yet, so bear with me. This poor lady, as you can see in the far left-hand side, has four fingers, not five. One of them has already been amputated. Why do you amputate a finger in a patient with Ray nose disease? Because the circulation is so poor that they eventually get ulcers and gangrene and they have to cut the finger off to save the patient. This poor lady had uh, Ray nose disease and scleroderma on top of it. And the little description down in the lower left-hand side, I'll read it to you if you're in the back of the room. She had these three ulcers on her fingers when we saw her. And it was looking kind of bad that she may lose one or more of those digits in addition to the one she had already lost. These are the treatments she had received over a six-month period prior to July of 2005 in 19 office visits to physicians. She had received Vicodin, Percocet, and Methadone. Those were three for her pain. She had been given Viagra, which is a vasodilator, as you know if you also watch television. The little blue pill, okay. Uh, Procardia, a cardiac vasodilator. Pregnazone, which is a steroid. Remember steroids I told you? Decreased nitric oxide production? Well, you may get temporary pain relief, but you're not doing much for those ulcers. She was given carpal tunnel surgery. She had both uh, nerves on both of her arteries in her wrist cut uh, to try to increase circulation. Nothing worked. So here she is with all those treatments over a six month period. On the right hand side is a picture of her same hand two weeks after starting infrared light therapy. It was given three times a week 25 minutes each treatment in someone's office. The results at two weeks, as you can see that one finger, the ulcer is virtually gone. Her pain is now significantly reduced. Now why would that be? Pain, cyclic GMP, just like morphine, nitric oxide, nitric oxide, okay, okay. Ulcer goes away, better circulation, pain goes away. Her range of motion is now beginning to increase. She was working with an occupational therapist. After seven weeks, shown on the left-hand side, virtually all three digits have no ulcers. There's actually a tiny one still on this one finger here on the far left-hand side. At this point, seven weeks in, she's off all of her narcotics. She's able to button her clothes and do needlework with those fingers and she was discharged to home because Ray knows is a chronic disease as is scleroderma with a home Avalon unit a unit that the patient can use and treat themselves every day without coming in three times a week to the office or to the to the clinic and the final photo uh, as you can see shows a nice pink healthy reasonably healthy uh, three fingers um, and she was pretty happy. No surgery, no drugs, non-invasive, drug-free. You will walk on water, ladies and gentlemen. You will walk on water.